how is it to get the uh, entire offense out here this week, get things going here in practice? Yeah, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling to see all the guys out there and practicing hard. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to play football with those guys. You see how much they love football. And, um, and I've mentioned a couple times the way we practice is very intense here. And um, everyone who was not at every practice definitely didn't miss a beat. So it was great to have everybody around. As you look at that front, pretty solid players there. Going to be Cardinals? Yeah, oh, yeah, they're studs. They're studs. Um, you know, obviously we're really familiar with JJ. Uh, he's given, you know, the Tennessee Titan franchise problems for many, many years. Uh, Chandler Jones is uh, extremely athletic and tall and long, and he's got a lot of power behind him. Uh, Golden, 44, is really powerful. You know who's a sleeper, though, is 45. That guy, long hair, white guy, kind of looks like Pat Tillman. That dude brings the heat on uh, Bull Rush. I'm not even kidding. Like the guy, the guy, they all have juice. All those guys play really hard. Extremely athletic inside linebackers. I know Simmons is a stud. He lines up at Seems like every position, um, just a true athlete, man. The way he b plays the game is uh, it's very impressive. So we've got our hands full on Sunday. This is going to be a huge challenge for us, and I'm really excited, really excited for the opportunity. It's been a long wait for you. I know you've talked just about your excitement for yeah. the season. I mean, I'm almost counting the hours at this point. Or what you kind of your I'm nervous. Yeah. Like, I remember woke, I woke, like, went to bed Monday, and I barely got any sleep on Monday. I've never been nervous on a Monday for a game on Sunday. So I'm nervous. I'm excited. Uh, I just, I'm so, I'm so happy to be playing football again and be feeling the way I do. It's, uh, I just feel really lucky, and I'm, I just am super grateful because, you know, I never took anything for granted. But at the same time, like, you know, there were times that you, you know, you took, you know, practice. Like, oh, I had another Wednesday practice, I had another camp, and you don't realize how lucky you are. In my situation, to be on the same team for eight years and to, to be a part of a program that, you know went through what it did in 14 and 15 and to be a part of like a culture change like that's really cool and um to get hurt put a lot of things into perspective for me it challenged me a lot uh emotionally physically and so i'm just really really happy to be able to go play sunday i can't wait knowing you have all that excitement and anticipation do you like do you think that you'll have to kind of like throttle down a bit pre-game you know just to make sure that you're safe? no I, I mean i'm just gonna go i mean i i'd never did well overthinking things, so I'm just going to go play football. You know, I don't need to. Uh, I just need to go play ball. I'm, just, I'm excited to get out there. Uh, it's a huge, like I said, it's a huge challenge. Uh, the edge rushers, all those guys are. You know, I'm have my hand, hands full all day, so it's going to be a really cool opportunity for me to come back and um, play against some elite talent. I know you're a teammate of Julio, but is there some part of you that gets you know kind of excited about seeing what a you know? Future Hall of Famer, is likely. To That's cool. Yeah. yeah, future Hall of Famer. Yeah, no doubt. Like having Julio on the team is awesome. Um, you appreciate those guys. You, I mean, you appreciate the young talent we have on this team. Um, it's there's a lot of talent on this team, but it really doesn't mean anything unless we do something with it. So, um, it's you know, I'm I'm very excited about the opportunity we have and what we can do. It's just a matter of doing it now. And it kind of goes along the same lines, but you, you talked about the culture change. You've been on some teams here that weren't very good. I mean, yeah, they were really, really bad, actually. <laughs> we were really, we were terrible. Yeah. So, so what's it like in the season where the expectations are high? And I imagine you guys not looking for respect. You know, you got to earn it. Yeah. Is that the mindset going in? Yeah, I mean, just because the expectations are high, no one's want to, you know, everyone has that, that, you know, Super Bowl champs in the summer. You know, that doesn't mean nothing. So week one, uh, it's taking one game at a time and, and not taking anything for granted and going to play ball. So, like, we have a good football team. We have a lot of talent in this football team. No one's questioning that. But um, it doesn't mean anything if we don't put it together. So uh, Sunday's a huge opportunity for us. You're proud of your uh, uh, teammate Quiz there. I mean, David year, Lee? David Lee, yeah. Last year all left, and it's like been getting a, a ton of rate tackle this year. Uh, um, yeah. Happy with what he's been doing. Yeah, no, year. Dave and I worked out with each other in the off season. And the offseason before that, I think, um, you know, I don't know if there's another person on this team I respect more than David Lee. And I think, uh, you know, this whole team respects him, his work ethic, what he does, him as a football player, his talent. Uh, I love the guy. And so I, uh, I am excited. I'm excited for him. I'm excited for all the guys that are going to play. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of David Lee. That man, dude, he's uh, he's sneaky. Like when I do mobility stuff with him, I'm I get kind of embarrassed because this dude is flexible. He can move, you know. He's got, you got a punch in the eye, Paul. Someone finally gave it to you. He gave you what had you had coming the whole time, huh? Yeah, I bet it is. Um, yeah, man, he's he, you know he's got some.
crazy mobility. He's extremely strong. He's powerful and athletic. So, um, yeah, Dave's got all the tools. He definitely has all the tools to do it. Run, run game didn't come out blazing last year. It kind of took you guys a, a little bit. It's very astute. What changes, what changes that this time around? Uh, nothing. I mean, I don't know. We have to play the game, right? Like, you can't just come out here and assume we have a 2,000-yard back again. You know, people have shown that uh, people have got the 2,000 yards the next year they don't. And so we have history against us. Um, we know that. We know we started off a little slower last year. My got out of there. Those guys kicked it in high gear. So hopefully I can, keep, I can pick my up a little bit.